Ma chambre a la forme d'une cage Le soleil passe son bras par la fenêtre Les chasseurs à ma porte comme les petits soldats Qui veulent me prendre Je ne veux pas travailler Je ne veux pas déjeuner je veux seulement oublier Et puis je fume Déjà j'ai connu le parfum de l'amour Un million de roses n'embarmerait pas autant Maintenant une seule fleur dans mes entourages Me rend malade Je ne veux pas travailler Je ne veux pas déjeuner je veux seulement oublier Et puis je fume Je ne suis pas fière de sa vie Qui veut me tuer C'est magnifique être sympathique Mais je ne le connais jamais Je ne veux pas travailler Non, je ne veux pas déjeuner je veux seulement oublier et puis je fume
why not in Rio? In Rio. Two. Today's in LA. In LA. We had a short, a short stop in Moscow. But there was no, no, no time to stay. To stay, to stay, to stay, to stay, to stay. We'll have to meet this promoter in New York. So we met at the Hilton Hotel at the lobby. We said we have to leave immediately to Germany. So we hired a cab. When I saw the cab, I thought I faint because this little cab was just a Mitsubishi, a shifted car. I'm used to ride limousines, luxury cars with all my stuff. I've been on one suitcase, two pairs of shoes, and three backup singers. I'm used to this. I need this. Anyway, this driver had no idea how to get to the airport. Because on the 14th Street, he took a left turn instead of a right turn. And I was really mad at him because, hey, man, we have to be at the airport in a few moments. So how the hell can you do that? Because the flight leaves to Berlin. One. One fancy cocktail. In the sky. Two. Two pieces of lemon. Three. Three crying babies. Next to me. And after four drinks, it wouldn't serve me no more. Well, and after flying for seven hours in the comedy class, I was really mad. Three crying babies, and no more liquor, and no sleep. So finally, we arrived in Berlin. It was raining, of course. So nobody's picking us up. So where the hell are these guys? Well, anyway, so let's go for the luggage. So we went down and there was no luggage. So where's my luggage? So I'm waiting half an hour for my luggage. So I went down to the counter and said, excuse me, where's my luggage? We flew from New York to Berlin. So he looked into his computer and he said, sir, on the way to LA. LA, LA, LA. I had one, one, one bedroom apartment. One bedroom apartment. There were two, two things on my mind. My, my. I want to go back, back, back to my luggage. I want to leave, leave, leave this place behind. Okay, I'm sitting in the airplane to Los Angeles to get my luggage back. It's quiet and next to me there's a friendly guy from Morocco or somewhere. So we talked and I wanted to show him the pictures of my boat. And guess what? I find out that I forgot my wallet in the apartment in Berlin. And here I am, no cash, no credit cards, and I'm wearing a suit for four days. Suddenly, the nice guy beside me jumps up with a pistol in his hand, runs to the cockpit, and demands that the pilot has to go to Rio de Janeiro. A one, just one night in Rio. In Rio. Two, too tired to complain. Three, three stamps in my passport. For you it might sound funny, well, but I was in pain. All right, after 26 hours, we got rescued by the Brazilian anti-terror squad. Nice guys, by the way. Later at the gate, I see this beautiful lady smiling at me. I go over there and talk to her, and she invites me to over to her house. Sounds like there's a chance to shave. In this one, one night in Rio. Rio. We had two. Two glasses of champagne. Champagne. And after three, three minutes of talking, <laughs> we made love again and again. Again, again. Oh, 
It's four o'clock in the morning and I'm getting a little rest. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's a rough night. My cell phone rings. It's my agent Steve. He's telling me he's waiting on my boat in Malibu with all my luggage. Thank God. Ready to go to Honolulu. I get dressed, go to the airport, pick up my ticket because I have to go back, back to L.A.